Hi, hi friends, welcome to Lying Around Sewing. My name is Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about how much I made from my first paycheck from YouTube. Okay, this isn't a paycheck. This is how Google AdSense sent my special pin code that I had to enter. Um, but I imagine if they still sent paper checks, this is what it would look like and come from. But now you get it directly deposited into your bank account, whichever one you link to your Google AdSense account. So, you know, modern times, it goes directly into your bank account. Also, I want to preface the big problem that I ran into was having my Google AdSense, my Google account, my Google Gmail, as line around sewing at gmail.com. I set it up as a business account when I sent up that email and don't do what I did. Unless you're a big corporate company with lots of employees, you will be an individual, not a business. Even if you are a business, like Line Around Sewing is my small business, that's technically not the business that they are looking for. And it's gonna save you a lot of trouble in the future because when I actually got approved with that email, I thought I was a business and then they wanted tax information and a tax number that I don't have. But if you're an individual, you just enter your social security number. And that's what I do have. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna look at some analytics. And I found this really fascinating. Let me remember how to screen record. <laughs> and I also took some notes because I was just really getting into all the information that this was giving me. I think it's really helpful to look into to figure out how you can improve your channel kind of and this is specifically for my channel so if you go into youtube studio you can do this too for your channel and get more information so go into youtube studio and you're going to go under analytics and this will be the breakdown and it's usually for the last 28 days which i've noticed i assume that that is there that's what they do that shows the most like that's their go-to you know it's not like last 30 days it's not like this whole year even though you can change it last 28 days is what they like their preference i guess to show you how much your channel is growing and yeah you can kind of just see you can see your subscribers of course you can see your estimated revenue for the 28 days but if you wanted to go in here and look at like okay, what's my estimated revenue for 2024? It gives me this number. Um, it gives me $140. And YouTube does have a thing where you can cash out at $100 minimum. So that's what we're talking about. You guys are already know that I got at least $100, maybe a little more, because that would have been the first time that it deposits into my account. Once you hit that $100 threshold, it's going to like let you know you hit that $100 and then whatever else you get within that time goes into your account. Let's look in just the revenue tab. Let's start off strong. I know you guys are here to see how much I made. So let's look at that. And I like to look at watch page ads specifically because that's what's going to bring in the most money. I do have some memberships, but honestly, it's me, Joey, and then one other person subscribed or was a member. So, and we're going to change this for just 2024. I will say I reached the threshold to start earning money in April of 2024. And I just now got my first paycheck in August. Well, technically it was July, but it deposited in August. <laughs> So that's how long it took me to get to that $100 threshold, which I, my channel is still small. I'm very happy, very fortunate. I'm not complaining at all. If I get $100 every month for the rest of my life, I would be okay with that. So if you scroll down here to watch page ads revenue, you can see this whole year so far, I've made $113.36 on watch page ads. And then with YouTube premium, $8.65. So that's the people that had YouTube premium that watched my video um, because they don't get ads. So they give me a little bit of that too when YouTube premium members watch that. 
And just really quick, we can look at shorts. I haven't uploaded a short since it's been like two months. And the last short that I posted that actually got more than like a thousand views was over a year ago. I don't expect to get a lot from shorts. It does take a lot to get revenue from shorts, but for my short ads, I got $1.36 so far for this year, or $1.63, and um, for YouTube Premium, I got $0.09, cents. which is just funny. I wrote this down, and uh, I have $1.70, so I don't know where that money... Is. Oh, that's probably the total. Okay. Total... Four shorts, I got a hundred or a hundred. I got a dollar seventy. But if you break it down more, this is it. And then memberships, I've got a total of sixteen dollars and sixty three cents from memberships. So that's when people um, decide to hit the membership button, and then they can pay. Right now, I have mine at like ninety nine cents a month, and you get a special little badge to go on your name when you are in my lives and when you chat. And I believe that's all you get right now you get access to my youtube videos when i upload them earlier so that's why it's only like 99 cents it's more of like if you want to support me if you want to give me a little tip right now it's me and joey <laughs> and then um i believe captain crabs actually do or like joined for a month or something so thank you and i don't have super set up yet so i don't have any information on that but let's go back to watch page ad watch page ads and i love that you can see these spikes so i looked at this for quite a bit i had a big spike on like april 26th somewhere right in here and i made three dollars and 19 cents in that day which you're like that's nothing but for me for youtube ads making three dollars a day that's that's pretty good the next spike was may 24th and that was like three dollars and 38 cents and you can see that it's kind of between some videos. The next one though, and this is the biggest spike I've had, was August 10th and I made $6.18 in one day. And I looked into this. You can see that I don't have any videos uploaded or shorts around this time. I, re I uploaded one kind of like right after, but I was trying to figure out and I was talking to Joey. I was like, why did I get this big spike? And if you guys know, let me know. But the only thing I could think of is maybe because I went so long without uploading and YouTube was trying to push to get me that last like $100 because this is right around the time I would have hit that $100 threshold. And so they were really pushing so that I could cash out. Or the other thing I could think of is maybe my video got shared or something on recommended was really pushed i really don't know but that is very surprising that i made that much without having anything take off and i tried to go in deeper into my analytics to see if there was any videos that took off at that time like shorts or whatever and i haven't seen anything so i really don't know but i do like that you can see these like spikes and you can see the levels so let's look at the top videos that made me the most money so far this year. Okay, so to see the top 15 videos, um, I'm going back to revenue and I'm just leaving it at all. So on my phone, it shows me 15, but I don't get to see that little chart that it keeps pulling up, the little graph. But on the computer, I changed it to the last 365 days and it's showing me the top 10. Oh, this also has shorts. Okay, can I change it? Anyways, if you want to look at it and not get overwhelmed, I suggest looking at it on your phone. But looking at here and then also looking over my notes, the main thing I wanted to touch on is that out of those top 15 videos, there were two tutorials, two travel vlogs, but they were about my Disney wedding. So that makes sense. It has a little more traction. Nine of them were Artist Alley videos, which I know that that's what most people come to my channel for. And two of them were prep videos, like convention prep videos. The top video is one that I have that is about my brother embroidery machine. 
and I had a lot of problems when I got it because I got it off of Facebook Marketplace and it's a short five minute video but it does have the most views on my channel overall. It says it's got 9,489 views since it was published and I believe it was published, will it tell me right here? Published in June, June 20th and I believe that was of 2022 according to this up here. So the whole this whole year so far, it has earned me $10 and about 50 cents, which is awesome for like a little five minute video. And this is something that I would like to do more of is like little tutorials that are short that people are going to continue to watch for years. This is something that I Googled when I was having trouble with it and I was able to troubleshoot it and figure out how to fix it. So I would like to have some of that on my channel too that involves sewing, embroidery, patterns, anything like that, that I feel like people are going to search and look up for the rest of, you know, my life. <laughs> and I do want to touch base on one video that I don't get revenue on because it does have a copyright strike, or not a copyright strike, but it can't make money because of a copyright issue. And I believe what the copyright issue is, is that there's like a live band. And that's the only thing I can think of because I used the music from iMovie that was free and I haven't had problems with that before. So that's the only thing I can think of. Let me see if I can pull it up. It's, it's not going to be under revenue because I didn't make money off of it. Okay, this one. El Dorado Royale in Cancun, Mexico. This is when we went for Ali and Ed's wedding. And I remember we used to watch or we were watching a whole lot of vlogs before we went to this resort because we wanted to know what to expect, what to look like, kind of know our way around before we were just like thrown there. And this video has 3,500 views since it was published in March of 2023. And it does also have a whole lot of comments on it. People really like watching this video. It's also like pretty short. It's like 12 minutes. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't make money off of this because it has a copyright problem. And I've thought several times about re-uploading it without and cutting that part out, but honestly, I hope that I get to go again and I can record another one and that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> again, when I said nine of them were the Artist Alley videos, which is to be expected, I believe the top ones were Megacon, KatsuCon, and Lexington Comic Con, which makes sense because those are my three biggest events. And it probably has the most people attending, probably has the most people wondering how Artist Alley goes and how much I made, that kind of stuff. The really cool thing, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it up on here, is looking at the graph of how many people, I think just watching it. Okay. So if you look at a graph, or if you look at this graph for the bobbin one, this is just viewing since I like uploaded it. You can see it's a pretty, like it's a decline, it's a, a decline, but, oh wait, this is for the whole video. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So scratch that. You can see that this video is getting more views the longer it's up. This is for the bobbin video. So the longer it's been there, it's just been increasing. There's no like drop down, less people watching it. If you look at one of my Artist Alley videos, so if you look at this Megacon video, which was posted February of this year, you can see it really spiked up at the beginning because it was a new video. And then about a month later is where it's kind of just leveled off. So what this means to me is that for Artist Alley videos, and I looked at more Artist Alley videos, when I upload it, lots of views, lots of revenue, but it's not really going to get any spikes. It's not going to, it's not going to be a strong incline. It's going to spike up and then just kind of level off because people are going to go, they're going to watch this video one time they're not going to rewatch it because there's unless like maybe when megacon 2025 comes back around or future megacons it might get a little more traction but for the most part people are going to watch it once get the information they need to know the enjoyment they need 
and then it's gonna level off. Everyone that's gonna see my video is gonna see my video. Unlike the tutorial videos, like I said, like the link hat one too, it's gonna keep going up because the more people that are watching this video, the more people it's gonna get pushed to and it might shoot up around Christmas time because I have it labeled as like a elf hat. It might shoot up around summer for summer conventions or if there's a new Legend of Zelda game coming out, it might shoot up then. So it's gonna continually keep going up until people stop making elf hats or link hats. So I just thought that that was really fascinating. I I really like science and math in like the graph and like experiments and I really like that part of it. So I found it really fascinating that you can see the different types. Same with, um, will it show me? The other one I was just going to show was a artist alley prep. It probably is pretty low. So this one I think was one of my pretty high prep videos. Um, it's not going to show me a chart like the other one did. But you can see where it spiked when I first posted it and then it's kind of gone leveled out type thing. A thing to keep in mind is more views doesn't necessarily mean more revenue. For the Matsurikon, I have that it was like number eight, um, but the revenue was really low. And like the Sherpa one, I think, has a whole lot of views or has a decent amount of views, but it hasn't really made me any money. The other cool thing is you can look into search terms. Um, this is something that I'm going to look into a little more, is looking at what people searched and then they got to your video. So for me, the El Dorado one is a good search term, Disney Cruise Wedding, Megacon Orlando, and then Artist Alley Vlog. I, I get some little bit of travel and Disney, I'm okay with that, and then Artist Alley and of course Megacon, those are like big search terms. So I think that that's really cool and it also tells you like how people are finding you and maybe like what people would like to see more of. You can also see if people have put your videos on a playlist and I saw that my Splatoon cosplay tutorial is on a playlist from Angel Mage 99 So shout out to them for putting my Splatoon tutorial on a Splatoon cosplay tutorial. And it had a whole lot of different artists with other Splatoon tutorials. And this I want to do a little bit more research into. But you can see where videos have spiked if there's certain parts in the videos where stuff has spiked and more people have like rewound and rewatched it. Kind of like the tutorials, I can see if people rewatched how to make a knot several times. You can also see if there was like above typical intros. So did I catch people's attention more in this video or another video? But I don't want to bore you guys too much with the details. If you would like more information on how to look into this stuff, let me know. I'll make more videos. But let's just see if it'll show you how much I made with my first paycheck. And I don't think it's going to show you. It's going to show you overall and then it's going to show you these past couple of months. So I'll just tell you guys how much money I got deposited into my account. It was $108. So that's very exciting and some change, but I don't remember that right off. $108. I'm so excited. It definitely helped pay the bills. So if you guys ever want to just leave my YouTube videos playing in the background, let those ads play, feel free. I do that with my mom's Google account. So I'll just randomly when I'm over there, let the videos play to get a little bit of money. It's not a lot, but more people that watch, more revenue is made. And, and if we want to look into how much I have made so far already, that is like building up to the next paycheck. It is $25.49. So we're already a quarter of the way there. And that's probably for like a month ish time period. So I'm hoping I can get another paycheck before four months, but that kind of looks like what it is right now. Every four months I get a hundred dollar paycheck and you might be thinking, is it worth it? Is it, that's not a lot of money, but to me it is really worth it because I want to continue to grow my channel. I've made many YouTube channels, more just like music videos of videos from my family and my experiences and my travels. 
And then, you know, T and I did a sustainable video channel during 2020. But, like, this is my holy grail. This is my baby. And I don't want to abandon it. I want to continue to grow it. If I make no money, that's okay. But I love looking back on these videos. Joey and I, I say Joey and I, mostly me, <laughs> just last month rewatched all of our wedding and Disney and our honeymoon videos. I can't wait in the future when we have kids and we go to conventions with them and we see all of our cosplays and they can watch our videos and maybe they'll be in our videos in the future. And just to have this to share with others, to leave behind, however sentimental you want to be with it, I'm just happy to have this and I want to keep it and I want to keep it going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I missed anything. I kind of just wanted to nerd out a little bit about the stuff I found and I'm going to continue to deep dive into this because like you can click on tabs and it just goes deeper and deeper. Um, there's also an inspiration tab where you can see what other people are making that's getting popular and that kind of fit to you. So right now crocheting is really popular I think because I'm getting fed a whole lot of crochet stuff and I love crochet but I can't really crochet. I'm learning. But also, Halloween costumes. It's that time of year. So if I want to make a video on like a kid's Halloween costume that I think people would like, that would be a good video for me right now before Halloween takes off. Thank you guys so much again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you guys so much because you all are the ones that, you know, paid help pay my bills this month. So I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.